Thanks, Deshaun. I'm joined by Jamie Wolf from the Shimon County SPCA with this little guy, Charlie, who's surprisingly been in the SPCA <laughs> for most, his, most of his life. Well, he is about four months old, so he's been in... Oh, we're going to try to jump off my lap right now. Uh, he's been in the shelter quite a bit of the most of February, actually, yeah. um, which is pretty long for a puppy. They don't usually stay more than a week um, before they get picked up. And I don't know why, because he is the sweetest. Um, you know, he's got puppy energy, but he's very gentle for a puppy. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, he, We have him down as good with... Um, young kids. We have him good with cats and dogs. Um, he just is at that perfect age where he can kind of get introduced to a mixed household and learn. Um, obviously, he might want to play with the cats because he doesn't know what they are, but he can learn boundaries pretty quickly. Um, so we, I don't understand why he's still there. He's a hound mix. He'll probably get to, on the larger side of medium, um, but I don't think he's going to get too big. Yeah, and he still needs some of that training that puppies need. Absolutely. We're, we're learning sit. We don't know the command sit, but we're kind of getting sitting back when there's a treat raised above. Mm. So he's learning, and he's willing to learn, and he's very food motivated. So that would be really good. Um, just get him the smelliest, softest treats. He's kind of got a gentle mouth, so he's not very big fan of the hard treats. Yeah, and this month is National Spay and Neuter Awareness Month, and you guys have a, have a clinic coming up tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow is actually National Spay Day. We've got yes. a vaccine clinic going on mm -hmm. tomorrow, but um, our spay and neuter clinics for the month of April will be announced on March 15th. Um, they come on the website about 9 in the morning, so if you're looking to get your animal spayed or neutered, uh, go to our website on March 15th, and our April dates will be open. Yeah, and then we got to talk about the return of something that we haven't seen for a while. You have a chef returning to the SPCA. Tell us about that. So we have celebrity chef uh, returning. That'll be at the Hilltop um, in Elmira. We're having that on April 22nd. So that used to be a pretty good uh, big fundraising event. We have local celebrities pair up with a chef and they do a little dish and paired with a wine or uh, a beer uh, or a fancy IPA or something. Um, but there's raffles, there's an auction, there's uh, information about the SPCA and what we provide. It's a good time. I know I had a fun time last time we did it, but we did it prior to COVID happening and then it just kind of got lost, but now we're bringing it back because I know it uh, was a great time and a lot of people had fun. Alrighty, awesome. Now, if you guys want to know any more about any of that information, it'll be up on our website at WENY.com, as well as if you want to get this little guy out of somewhere he really shouldn't be. Charlie, <laughs> by the way, you know his name. Tell him I sent you. All right, Katerina, send it back to you.